Um, I had a hatred and anger for my dad, and what happened, I, I, I had a, a revelation of um, inspired by God in terms of yeah. helping me get my life together. I'll, I'll get back to that, but I, I, in 1997, I'm jumping ahead, I come back. I came over uh, to, uh, to Tasmania to, uh, in 1995, and I had a, a longing to know my dad. Yeah. And so being that I received forgiveness, for my, for my lifestyle, and I, I wanted to offer forgiveness to him. Mm -hmm. And so in 1997, I went back to America and found my dad. Wow. And, uh, and, and talked to him about how I wanted to ask him to forgive me for my anger and my hatred I had towards him. Yeah. My dad was, you heard the song by The Temptations? Uh, I don't know if you know the group The Temptations back hey. in a long time. Yeah. Papa was a rolling stone, boom, boom. Wherever he laid his head was his home. And when he died, all he left us was alone. That was my dad. Wow. He was a Rolling Stone. And, um, but I found out where he was located. And I, my wife, Margaret, who's my wife to this day, my fr our first child, Joshua, we went there and we found him. And I sat had a conversation with him to ask him to forgive me. And, um, yeah. and that was a healing moment for me, a wow. healing moment. And, um, and uh, I, I, we took a photo. And I still got this photo to this day. So every now and then I pull it out. Yeah. Because I found some things out about my dad to my aunt. That, uh, that, that disturbed me and I understood. I, I didn't excuse his behavior, but I understood why he was wired the way he was wired. Yeah. He, he, was, he was born out of wedlock. And, and unfortunately, his mother didn't, never accepted him. Uh -huh. So he was never loved at the moment he was born. Some people within his community raised him up. And all his life, until he died in his 60s, he was pursuing his mom to receive him, to accept him, and she wow. never received him. So my dad didn't know how to love because he was never loved. Yeah. 